To get started with the Operations Center, go to www.myjohndeer.com. You will input your username and password. If you are new to Operations Center, simply click on Create a New Account to set up a new account, which is completely free. Put in your username and password and click Sign In. Scroll down and select Operations Center. Once logged into your account, in the top right hand corner, you can select your organization if you have more than one organization set up, which most people will not. You can also click on the gear to set up your organizational settings. If you look at settings, a couple important ones would be field detection and auto import boundaries. If you wish to choose those, you can click edit. Field detection when turned on, designated by the green, will take all of your field data and chop the data based on your active boundaries. So if an operator selected the wrong field in the machine when completing the work, field detection would bring the field into the correct field based on the boundaries that are in the system. Auto import boundaries would be turned on if you made a new boundary such as with a gator with a display, it allows the boundary to be imported into the system. If this is turned off, you would not be able to import the boundary into the system. When complete, hit save. Another option you may want to look at is file naming. When you bring files in, they are named a specific way. When setting up a new account, machine name and timestamp is selected. In most cases, you'll want task name, farm name, field name to show up in the files list. Click Save. Lastly, under Import Options, we can bring product names into the system through a setup file. So products would be things like seed varieties, chemicals, and tank mixes. So if we would like to import those, if they were entered in the display, select Edit and click Always Import. We will close the settings. We can also see at the top, there's a question mark under Assistance where there's a couple items we may need to use at times. Release Notes allows us to see what newly released features have been recently added to the system. We can go back in time and look through new updates to the system and read about what has changed. You can also subscribe to updates to be notified when there are new updates available. Operations Center is updated on its own. You do not have to manually update anything. There are also how-to videos from John Deere, as well as the ability to contact support with an issue. You also have the ability to give feedback. If there's a feature you would like to see added or something you would like to see improved, you can send feedback directly to John Deere. In the top left hand corner is your menu button. It shows you all of the tools that are available within Operations Center. Your five most recently used tools will be listed in the recent tools at the top of the page. You can also scroll down through all the different Operations Center tools 
And if you would like to jump into a different tool, simply click on that tool to open it up. To navigate back to the main map page, select tools, and you can either scroll down through the list and select Operation Center Map or select it from recent tools. The map is essentially your home base within Operation Center. You also have the ability to choose satellite view or map view. You also have the ability to zoom in and zoom out to see additional fields as well as a few settings. Whether you would like to see equipment on the list, your JD Link enabled equipment, location history, fields, or weather. Weather would include radar.